In this video, I show you two more ways to enter probability distributions. We just used define distribution to enter these distributions. You can always check to see what's in a cell by placing a cursor in a cell and then clicking on define distributions. I want to use exactly the same distributions, but I'm going to now enter them in two different ways. So I put my cursor here, and now I'm going to go up to the Insert function. I click on it, and I know I want to introduce a discrete distribution, in particular the Poisson distribution. I click. A window will soon open. I put in my value for lambda, which is 45, and I say OK. I put my cursor down here, click on the Insert function, this time Continuous and the uniform. I wait for the window to open. The minimum is 22. Let's highlight that. And the maximum is 35. And once again I say OK. The other way is direct entry. I just put my cursor in and I type equal sign risk Poisson, open the parenthesis, 45, close the parenthesis, and there we go. You'll notice we have different values for each because the Monte Carlo process is working. That's why we do this, so we can get different values, but we'll be talking about that later. Down here, I say equal sign risk, uniform, and a minimum of 22, comma, and a maximum of 35, and we have, whoops, a mistake. It helps to spell correctly. Risk uniform. And now we have three different ways that you can enter distributions. I prefer direct entry. Once I learned the syntax, I just found that easier than clicking all the buttons. You can use whichever one you like best.